Hey guys, my name is Scoby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play GameCube games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen right now you can see me playing some Super Mario Sunshine. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and we're going to be searching for and installing our emulator, which in this case we're going to be using to play GameCube games called Dolphin. Now I'm going to leave a link to this in the description down below. But on here we're going to get a bunch of different options for different versions of Dolphin. What I'm going to be doing is leaving this link down below. All you want to do is come here and download the latest version for Android. Simply click the download button here and your download will begin. Now I should mention that depending on the version of Android you're using you may have some issue with this. Currently I'm on the latest version of Android my phone can support which is 8.1. So you may want to check what version of Android you're using. I think Android 6 or before may give difficulty when I tried to install this on my OnePlus One which was running Android 6. I did get some issues with this so just keep this in mind. If you've got an older phone your version of Android may be a difficulty with this. So I'd recommend just testing it out. But once your download is done to actually install this, all you want to do is locate to where your downloads are, click on your Dolphin emulator. You will have to enable apps from outside your Play Store to do this. I'm going to leave a card on screen to my previous video to where I show you how to do that. It's really easy to do. It's just a quick setting in your settings. But all you want to do is click install here and then your emulator will install. It should be nice, quick and easy. It only took about two seconds for me to fully install this. But once your download is done, we're going to be able to search for our emulator and open it up for the first time. And as you can tell, it's already here. Now, I currently already have a game located here, but I'm going to be showing you step by step how to find your games. It's going to be quick and easy to do. So the next thing we'll be doing is talking about the games. Now, I'm not going to be showing you in today's video or to download games, but games are pretty easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out on this. Most likely they will come in torrent files since EMU Paradise has been shut down. It's become a little bit more difficult to find games in direct downloads, but installing torrent files is super easy and you can download them directly on your phone using BitTorrent or uTorrent. But I'm not going to be showing you that in today's video, it's really easy to do. But once you download your games, they're most likely going to come in a 7-zip or WinRAR file. To actually install your games, we are going to need another app from the Play Store. So what I'm going to be doing is opening up the Play Store and we're going to be searching for and installing Z Archiver. Now Z Archiver is a little bit like 7-zip or WinRAR for PC. It's 100% free and I'd recommend having this regardless. It's a good organization tool for your Android device. So what we're going to want to do is get this installed open it up and then you want to locate to where your game is currently downloaded. So currently I have mine in my downloads folder. I have Super Mario Sunshine and then I have Super Mario Sunshine here in a 7-zip file. To actually extract this, all you want to do is click on your file, then click extract here or just extract dot 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 if you wish to extract it to a different location. So currently I already have my game extracted so I'm just going to click cancel here. But once it's extracted out, you should be left with a .iso file, or in this case, a .iso is a disk image file, and that's exactly what the GameCube uses to actually run and load games. Now, for us to actually play this game, once it's extracted, we're going to come back to our Dolphin emulator. We're going to click the plus icon on the bottom right, and then we're going to locate to where our game is currently downloaded. So mine is currently in download. It's in Super Mario Sunshine USA, and I know my game is currently in this folder. Now don't worry if it doesn't show up in this place right here. All you want to do is click OK in the file location and then your game should show up in this window right here. Then to actually start playing your game, all you want to do is click on your game and your game will start to play. Now what I'm going to do is rotate my screen to the side and my game should start playing no problem. You should see all the controls are on screen. Now I would recommend a controller, a Bluetooth controller, whatever you have. It'll make this a lot easier to play. But for me it worked just fine with the on-screen controls. I'm just going to be loading into it a little bit to show you it works. But everything works okay. Now my current phone is the Poco Phone F1, so I do have a Snapdragon A45 with 6 gigs of RAM. So I do have the most powerful chipset on the market right now, so my game might look a little bit smoother than your phone. And depending on what phone specs you have, your performance may vary. But for me, this was actually really smooth. And I'm really surprised at how far emulation has come along on Android devices that were already just about close enough to run GameCube games at full speed. And it actually runs really, really well. Anyway guys, it's that easy to play GameCube games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. I always try to put the highest quality into them that I can. And of course, all my videos are free. So if you want to support me, I'd recommend checking that out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.